and welcome back to the channel on this video I'm riding the ride one up cafe cruiser I haven't had this bike out in a bit so thought I'd take it for a ride and <clears throat> besides not taking the bike out for a while and I wanted to get it out for a ride today is I want to talk about ride one up because one of their bikes has been discontinued and that bike would be the Ride One Up Rift R-I-F-T and it's unknown I could not find a reason why it was discontinued I just know that it is no longer available for sale and I never did try a Ride One Up Rift, but I gotta say, it sure looked like a good bike. Uh, it had good features on it as far as size of the motor. I mean, it was a 750 watt motor, much like the one I'm riding now. And it was a fat tire bike, 26 by 4 inch tires. Good looking bike. Uh, 48 volt had the um, a 20 amp hour battery 28 miles per hour uh, class 3 <clears throat> very similar to this rear rack it was last priced at $1,795 like I say it's been discontinued if anybody knows a reason why it's been discontinued, maybe you can let me know. In the comments. But, uh, so that bike has been discontinued, but one bike that has not been discontinued is this one. This is the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser that I'm on now. And this bike is still priced really well. I mean, if you're looking for an electric bike, class three, a commuter style, this is a great commuter bike. Uh, if you don't have to travel too far and don't want to go crazy speeds or anything like that. I mean, this bike is a class two, 20 miles per hour with throttle or class three. <clears throat> if you pedal assist. It has five pedal assist levels. I like pedal assist three. That's my favorite one to have it in. But if you're doing any hill climbing or anything like that then you can change the uh, assist level to help you get up hills and that kind of thing and uh, the bike rides nice it's got a nice seat on it it's uh, 26 by 3 inch tires very smooth easy riding uh, uh, pedaling you can adjust the seat to whatever height you want the handlebars are the swept back style as you can see right here uh, the bell I had to uh, add that myself that's the only thing missing bell and I have not put a mirror on this bike but other than that it's ready to go And so this bike is available in step through or step over. This is the step over model. And right now, uh, the price is depending on which model you want or which color. Uh, the price, there's three different prices going on right now. It's either $1095, $1145, or $1195. So anywhere in that range between $1095 and $1195. Like I say, it depends on which style you want, whether you want the step through or step over. 
and which color you want because it comes in I think three different colors for each each uh, model and uh, pretty good price though I mean there's not too many electric bikes especially class 3 that I know of that are under $1,200 there's just not you might get a folding bike you might get a folding bike that's under that but you're not going to get the 26 inch uh, wheels not a class 3 28 mile per hour bike 750 watt motor that's 750 sustained I am not sure what the I am not sure what the uh, That guy distracted me, the Staples driver, but I'm not sure what the peak wattage is. I just know that the motor is a sustained 750 watts. And uh, like I say, my favorite pedal assist level is three. I have had this bike up to pedaling really wildly, I gotta say, really hard. I have had it up to 33 miles per hour, but there's no way you could maintain or sustain that unless you've got a lot of stamina to do so. But it's a really nice bike. I, I uh, have been impressed with this bike from day one. It went beyond what I expected of the bike. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was especially for the price now that you know the price is so good if you're looking for a especially like a, say you're looking for a first e-bike the bike weighs 65 pounds now to some that may sound like a lot but i tell you after being on different bikes now this bike here feels like a feather like it feels very light it's kind of feels pretty well balanced you know the weight is not all in one area or anything like that it seems to be pretty well balanced I kind of like that like when I lift it if I ever have to lift it up it doesn't feel like it's way heavier in the back than the front it's heavier but not that much difference it's not not that bad at all the brakes are really good on it I can't really give a negative other than there was no bell on it, I guess, and no mirror, maybe. But you can add those yourself. Um, as far as the bike goes, though, and what you get, I I really can't give it a negative. And I'll tell you, it's a 14 amp hour battery, and I don't know how many miles I can get on a charge because I've never ran it, uh, ridden it that long to see I should do a range test sometime I suppose but um, it seems to go on and on and sometimes I'll lose like one bar or two I've never seen it go all the way down almost I don't don't know what the range would be but I bet you get I'm pretty sure you could get a good 25 miles in say keeping it like I have now in, in uh, assist level three I think you I think you could get over 20 miles maybe 25 miles I have had one flat tire and put flat out in the uh, tires after that and have had no issues since and the flat tire was just from a thorn in the wheel in the tire and we're coming around right now to the time of year that's really bad for flat tires the fall is the worst for getting flat tires everything's falling off the trees at this time of year and uh, yeah, it's flat tire season, I, I call it, in the fall. I'd say once October gets here, which is getting close now, um, to me that's fall season and the other F, flat tire season. 
All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to talk a little bit about Ride One Up uh, discontinued uh, the rift. But if you need service or anything like that, like uh, to talk to their uh, for service for the bike, um, if you have any issues, you can certainly still contact Ride One Up about that if you own the rift. So that's going to do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for supporting us. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Maybe, like I say, you might know more on the Rift uh, ride one up rift and why it was discontinued and I couldn't find anything on that but maybe I will in the future it doesn't matter I just know that the bike is no longer available for purchase so once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time keep your wheels on the road see you later